Hi everyone. In this video, I want to share is the Erica Berserker Blade Death Dagger. Overall, this build is um quite a balance in the damage and the defenses. And let's talk about the skill of the Berserker Blade first. This skill was reverted in this season. Overall, it's uh, okay, not that very surprising in the damage, but the map clearing is um, amazing. And in the Erica Death Dagger, it's not that uh, very good in the low budget versions because uh, it's a Death Dagger. You need to get uh, much of the density. That means you need to put um, kind of lots of the budget in this build. So I'm not going to do the low budget versions intro deals in this video and I will just focus on the mid budget versions and the high budget versions about this build. Yep, enjoy. So let's see about what can you do in the um, mid budget version first. So um, in the mid budget versions, you need to find out the, uh, the SWAT. Um, make sure you need to get uh, this mod. Uh, lightning damage to the attacks per the uh, density. Maybe you can find out the T two is fine for the uh not the end game versions, but I highly recommend you guys to do the um, to get the end game mod because uh in the market. You can get this endgame sword around 250 because uh in two days ago I just brought this sword in the market for um around 200 FE and very cheap and you don't need to craft by yourself and the cost by crafting by yourself I think is more than um 300 even for the 400 is uh, kind of very uh very hard for you guys to craft this mod um also this mod uh this one uh the one sword is a chance to deal double damage and the uh, and the uh, another one i just find out the uh you are quick strike uh animate animate enemies under the percentage life uh, I think it's uh, very good, uh, especially in the boss things. And uh, yeah. And uh, also, the best mod in the prefixes is this one Miller skill level. And yeah. And in the mid budget versions, there are some unique items you can find out is um, this one uh, the body armor. It's very cheap, but it's very amazing when you're doing in the mid budget versions um before you can get this this body armor i'm not suggest you guys to uh to to get this body armor let me check this one um i think this one is not that good anymore uh in the season one when i played the death dagger build i used this, this one but um, I think this one is not that good anymore um, because it's not that very tanky in uh, for your build. And when you and what I think is when you're doing the mid budget versions, that means maybe you only get around uh, 85 levels uh, or even to the 90 levels. Uh, that is um, that means you are still leveling. So for, for the body armor, what you can you need to find out is something more lives and more elemental resistance. And this one, there are no any lives and only one percent uh elemental resistance. That's kind of very weird. Um, but the density that's provided a lot um is a uh, very uh powerful for the damage, but not in the defenses. Uh, so. In the mid budget version, I just uh, highly recommend you guys to do this one. Life, a uh, lot of the lives, a uh, lot of the elemental resistance, and also the area damage, the skill weight is very good. Um, yeah, very good. That's all. And for the clubs, 
uh, this one. Just got the first effect. Uh, this is, uh, I think this is uh, very important for the build. It's help you to do more quick critical strike and uh, got more um, quick chance and uh, also have a first effect increased it. and um, attack speed but there is some problem is there's no any resistance but I think it's fine and also the boost if you're not going to crafting some uh, uh, boost uh, in the mid budget versions this one also very good for you because it's got a lot of damage a lot of the movement speed and some of the resistance and some of the lives and yeah overall those three uh unique items i'm very i'm used to before in the mid budget versions when i do the leveling and very amazing um so uh, let me check any things i want to introduce in the mid budget versions uh maybe you can try to get this ring i've I can say this ring is very powerful in this season and uh, the reason why that is very powerful is it get it provides you 60% additional elemental damage or the um, additional physical damage that is very uh, very useful when you play something uh, uh, physical to fire damage build physical to the cold damage build physical to the lightning damage build that's mean um the elemental damage and the physical damage also are good for your build and um the additional damage increase is so amazing that's mean you are all damage uh just uh one uh plus 1.6 yeah um but uh, there is some problem with this swing is there is no any defenses like the uh, resistance but very powerful I can say I'm lovely to use this ring and um in the frame slash build I'm, I'm also used this one and I used the tool in the frame slash build because it provides a lot of damage it's very amazing but um you need to be careful the resistance and just like what I'm doing right now, I got a minus of the uh, cold resistance. Still not that very perfect. And um, yep. I think that's all for the mid budget versions. Maybe oh, one more thing is the, um, this one. Uh, the heal relic, what can you find out is the heal memory effect. It's uh, very important. Uh, I find out the T3 because the T2 is a little bit expensive for me. Maybe uh, I'm not willing to spend a lot of them um, FE in this uh, hero relic. I remember the T2 maybe more than the 60 FE, something like that. And uh, also I got a T1 with the multi strike, uh, then increased the uh, increased the damage and make sure you need to get a free slot of that and also if you can find out uh, the the slot with the two and the four open why the reason why we need to open the slot two and the slot four is this one and this one i remember i got for the uh 15 fe something like that and uh you will need to looking for this mod it's increased the um the percentage of the density uh when you uh put it in the uh even numbered um the slots so when i put in the uh, two and the four we got a huge in uh of the density so uh if we not to uh use those uh hero memories we only have um 90 960 density but when we use the this one not this one no this one this one 
and also another one this one also 20 uh 20 uh 23 percent density we will get um 1415 density it's provide you uh, around 500 density just for the the uh, heal memory and the heal relic this is very amazing and the uh, and the third heal memories what can you find out is this one i looking for these are uh, cats uh durations for p1 and also you can do the art attack damage attack speed uh also very good and uh you trade one two one one two and this one also very good but it's uh you can find out in the heal memories with this one in the market uh four thousand maybe three thousands of the fe uh is very expensive let me check the buy yeah three thousand and two hundred crazy um yep you can do it in the high budget versions or the end game version and i think that's all for the mid budget versions what can you find out for the unique items and the heal uh some heal memories and the heal relic and the uh, next part is the um high budget versions so in the high budget versions what you need to uh to get is this one this one and uh, very good but make sure you need to find out um um let me check um per four density or yeah make sure you find out the per four density and you also if you can find out the four of the highest that uh that will be perfect but it's very expensive and i'm got lucky with this uh when i brought this one i just uh used it for around 80 fe and right now it's more than i think uh more than i think 200 maybe let me check okay not that very expensive so you guys can buy it for uh something like 120 150 and yeah <laughs> very, very cheap in in these stages and uh, after you got this body armor you need to find out is this one trade off um it's not the best mod you can find out but the best mod you need to find out is this one let me find out this uh, not this one following leaves is also good not this one not this one where is it where is the guy no um yeah this one i'm not really know how to spell it but yeah this mod is very expensive now because there are so many people using this okay 220 lp for only this mod only so maybe the 221 infinity is just a very bad in the other mod um yeah so i highly suggest you guys to get this mod the trade-off is to provide a lot of the other speed for you also and um try to find out the maximum of the expressing and also maybe you can find out some resistance or if you're lucky you can find out the damage per the stat and uh, very powerful i can say um in the, this one the t set t0 of the damage per 15 stats is provide around 80 
fifty percent damage for my build. Yeah. So after you find out the this belt, you can find out is the um maybe the um, you can find out the uh the helmet or the boots. Uh, just depends what you want. And um, I just craft the boots by myself first, and then I craft the helmet. And um, this one also very good with the elemental damage, lives. Maybe you can just not using the elemental damage is fine. You can use the life regen per second for more thank you tanky with the build. And the most important mod is the density and the percentage density and the damage penetrates the resistance very powerful and um in here you need to find out the uh, also the density and the resistance and the most important thing is the support skill levels very powerful and uh after you've after the boost the helmet you need to craft the um gloves. The gloves is the most uh uh hard for all of the people to do. And uh, this mod is so expensive. Have a furfers. Um, I remember in the market, at least you need to spend um uh thirty fe for this mod. And uh, if you want to buy this uh, end game props, maybe more than the uh, 400 FE, something like that. But it's not that uh, very uh, very necessary when you doing in the mid budget versions uh, or the early in the high budget versions. It's almost in the end game versions. And uh, you just can use this one for the for the high budget also, yeah. But this one is more lives and uh, more density for the build. And uh, this one also very important because um we can do so many damage with the lightning penetrations. And uh, yeah. I always try to find out the lightning penetrations with the those gear and because it's very powerful. Uh that's the best way to improve your damage. And the skill link and the tons trees I'm not going to show in here. And um just uh mention some important thing with the skill link, like the levels. Let me check. And only get the level one with this one, or you can follow me for the level four, it's fine. And uh, this one also level three, level four to make sure you got enough uh, mana to use all the skill. And um, nothing surprising, so I think I'm still leveling this with this one, and uh, yeah. Also, this one you can uh, get level 20 if you can do it. And I'm still leveling also. And uh, the main skill link may be not that uh, perfect, but I think that is the most dam damage I can do with this skill link. Yeah. And uh, one more thing is the amulet the amulet what i'm using now is this one this one is not to provide me any damage when we when we do this one when we do here so in here my damage not that very good you can see um i only can do the m uh, 1 billion damage in the three to four seconds um because we don't have the damage from the this amulet that we do in this uh robot but um the end game crafting amulet you should find out is the 
this one let me find out this one this one is so perfect and some people would like to um to use um this one let me check the unique amulets there are so many people i remember but i can say that is not that good where is it this one oh only 3.1 people percent people using this one is not that good i can say it also is uh very expensive and uh, uh don't buy it don't use this uh it's bad and um it's um not that very efficiency for the build um the end game version amulet should be like that um density all our effect all effects is so good and also the percentage of all statistic uh of that <coughs> and also the active skill levels very important and uh because uh the active skill levels also the best way for our uh our build to increase the damage and some life and life regen per second maybe you can do the elemental damage uh in the crafting the amulet amulet i'm not sure whether it is can do the elemental damage uh increased in the amulets yeah just depend on yourself and so um the damage test also showed the uh before and um i think that's all for this videos let me check anything so i missed it and the pets uh yeah just not not going to using something like this one this one very powerful but uh in the long in most of time i mean most of the people when they are doing the mapping they are not going to using something like this one this in the mapping this one is so bad and i can say but in the bossing you can uh, try to use this one and maybe some or more damage of the pets but it's not that important and uh, let me check yeah i think that's all for this video so if you guys have any questions please um try to ask the questions on the comments and um if you like my build guide and these videos uh you can subscribe my channels and i will try to update more about this uh game of, of the content and yeah thank you guys and see you guys in the next video